Alexa, pass the blunt. Okay, okay. I made a robot passing blunt arm so I can tap on my keyboard with both hands and still smoke weed at the same time. And this is how I did it. Here's a less conceited view of the robot arm. I used some yoga blocks just to lighten up the height of my mouth. I have a six volt battery for the power source, an Arduino to control the motors, and a breadboard to tie it all together. And I got the body STL files off of things first. For the Arduino setup, I'm going to stick pins in any place that has a uh, little squiggly tiled mark. Those are going to be the pins that have the capacity to handle server motors. So just make sure you are mindful of which ones you plug it into. Next, I'm going to take my ground wires. Those will go on the negative side. And my positive wires, which are white. We're only using three motors, so I'm going to make three lines. And I have a singular ground wire going into the Arduino for power. On the motors, brown is ground, red is positive, and that like orangish yellowish color is going to be the server wire. So once you have it all plugged in, this is my already setup, it's kind of unorganized, sorry. You can plug in the Arduino and you'll see some lights. So that's good feedback, and we can start the code. Two files here. The first one is the Arduino file. We're going to import the server library. And then in this section right here, we're just declaring each motor that we're going to use and then declaring their additional position. This line of code is going to declare a reset function. And uh, for the void setup, we're going to attach each motor to the name. Uh, and then the, the pins that you put the little yellow ones in, that's going to be on what goes in between the parentheses on the side. For the loop, it's kind of embarrassing, but I just hard-coded in the positions. And at the bottom, we do our reset function that we made so we can end the loop on the Arduino. For the Python file, it's uh, importing Flask and Flask Ask, and then also Serial to connect the Arduino, and we also use time. For the Serial port on the Arduino, you can just go to Tools, and you'll see right here, it'll give you the exact like directory that you need. Most importantly is down here, this port 5000. This is going to be what we use to connect to ngrok. I keep ngrok on my desktop, so I'm going to open up the terminal on the desktop and run ngrok 5000. We got our port here. We're going to take the secured URL and we're going to use that for our endpoint on Alexa. So go to Alexa skills. I already created a Alexa skill. It was really easy. So we're going to go into the one I already created and add our endpoint from ngrok. Again, we're gonna just paste the URL in from the secured section. To be safe, I also put it in the North America version, but I don't know if you need to do that or not, so save it. And then make sure that your invocation Invocation is going to be the phrase that you use to activate the Alexa skill. Make sure your invocation is what you want, minus pass the blunt, and then you can click test, and that's going to take you to like this IDE that you can use to test your Alexa skill with either like typing it out or with voice. So run the Python file. I'm going to open up a new terminal in the proper directory. I ended up using a virtual environment for this just because I had to import a lot of packages. And it's good programming practice so go into my virtual environment and then run the python file you'll see some feedback it's good to go it's all online and then we can test our code alexa pass the blunt hit enter okay okay rp pms and if you go back to ngrok you'll see a response so you know that everything worked that's how i built that uh, my intention is to eventually attach a Javoy to it so I can do better and accurate aim of when the blunt gets to my mouth using facial recognition, but that'll be in the near future and I'll be sure to post a video when I do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.